Hi, it's Katrina. From a bizarre city carved out of stone to the recently discovered lost pyramids in Poland, here are 10 of the most mysterious archaeological sites across the world that you've probably never heard of. Number 10. The City in Rock Naqsh e Rostam, also known as the City in Rock, is one of the most spectacular ancient sites containing the remains of Persian kings dating back thousands of years. The city itself is cut directly into a rock cliff, dating back to the Achaemenid dynasty of between 550 and 330 BC. This was at the peak of the Persian Empire, before they were defeated by Alexander the Great. There are four huge tombs carved into the rock here, designed for royalty. While this archaeological site has been mostly ignored thanks to the nearby ancient capital of Persepolis, it's a treasure trove of artwork from the Achaemenid Empire during the 4th and 5th century BC, and the Sasanians in the 3rd century AD. It was also a major ceremonial center until the 7th century AD. The tombs here once held the remains of the old Achaemenid rulers. Only one of the tombs has been properly identified as containing the late Persian king Darius I, the third ruler of the empire. The others most likely belong to his successors, Xerxes I, Artaxerxes I, and Darius II. But this is based only on the layout. There are no inscriptions and so far no additional evidence. The facade of the tombs contains images of kings and triumphs, as well as battles and acts of worship. Some of the reliefs were carved over pre-existing carvings, although some figures still come through, like a portrait of a man with a pointed hat and strange clothing. This indicates that this place was once used by an earlier civilization that predated the Achaemenid Empire. The site is also the location of a mighty necropolis, which researchers believe once held the ever-burning flame of the empire. While the tombs were looted and desecrated following the invasion of Alexander the Great, there is much left to be discovered here. Number 9. Archaim Archaim is one of the most fascinating and mysterious archaeological sites in all of Russia. It's located in the southern Ural region near a small village. The site itself consists of a major fortified settlement that was probably used in the Middle Bronze Age, around 4,000 years ago. The stronghold housed at least 2,500 inhabitants in primitive dwellings. Researchers have found traces of cellars, hearths, wells, furnaces used for metallurgy, and other building materials. Each of the dwellings was built facing a street that thousands of years ago had been paved with wood. There were even drainage gutters for collecting rainwater and getting rid of waste. And to top it off, Archim had a massive courtyard in the center that was used for gatherings and festivals. But who lived here? Well, it was probably the earliest ancestors of the Iranians, a group of people who populated the Eurasian steppe in the 3rd millennium BC. It went undiscovered until 1987, even though the settlement had been photographed earlier in 1952 by aerial cartographers. A team of archaeologists led by a man named Genady Zdanovich investigated the region and found the remains. There have since been over 20 similar structures found in the southern Ural region. The area has since been named the Land of Towns. Of course, there isn't much left of the once great settlement. It would have once had walls and roofs and looked much like a fort with circular streets and smaller avenues. Now it's nothing but a scarred circle of grass in the middle of the barren countryside. Number 8. The Ring of Brodgar The Ring of Brodgar is one of the most mysterious and yet unknown Neolithic sites in Scotland. The ring was built in a true circle about 341 feet wide and originally consisted of at least 60 giant stone megaliths. Today, there are only 27 of these stones still standing. The stones are slightly smaller than those found at Stonehenge, measuring between 7 and 15 feet, but there are more of them and they make up a larger area. What's really interesting is that no excavations have been done inside the circle, and there hasn't been any scientific dating to figure out exactly when the stones were erected. The true age remains a mystery, though according to the official heritage of the Orkney Islands, where the monolith stands, it could have been built around 2000 BC, making it much younger than Stonehenge. The Ring of Brodgar is the third largest stone circle in all of Britain, and is technically classed as a henge. The circle sits inside a natural cauldron formed by the surrounding hills, and was probably part of a large prehistoric ritual site that consisted of other nearby monoliths, 
such as the Ring of Bukan and the Stones of Stennis. It was basically part of a giant religious compound of various stone monoliths. However, because no excavations have been done and the relics have been studied so little, professional archaeologists are still unsure what kind of religious rituals were held here. Number 7. The Plain of Jars The Plain of Jars in Laos is an incredible archaeological site that not many people have heard of. There have been more than 90 different zones found in the region of the Plain of Jars, with at least 400 stone jars spread between them. These jars stand about 10 feet tall and are spread across forests, valleys, and hills. What's truly incredible about these mysterious jars, which were first discovered in the 1930s, is that they were used as coffins for dead people. Human remains were put inside of the jars and then buried. However, even after so many years of study, archaeologists can't say for sure exactly why this type of burial was practiced in ancient Laos or how they even got so many of these giant jars into the middle of nowhere. According to Life Science, the largest of all the jars found weighs 10 tons, making it hard to believe that these ancient people could have made it all by themselves. One of the most recent expeditions to the Plain of Jars revealed a skeleton buried inside of a shallow pit. The lead archaeologist on the case, Dougald O'Reilly from the Australian National University, said that the skeleton was found with a piece of stone covering his face and his eye sockets staring through the hole in the rock. However, they don't know exactly why the stranger was buried in such a bizarre way. To tell the truth, there is much we still don't know about the Plain of Jars. And now for number 6, but first, it's shout out time! Want to say a big thank you to KT Amazing and Kenny McCormick. You guys are awesome! Be sure to subscribe to Origins Explained and join the family! Number 6. San Agustin Deep in the untamed jungles of Colombia, the San Agustin Archaeological Park stands as one of the most mysterious ancient sites in all of South America, where an enigmatic and long-forgotten civilization once lived. There are three main sites here, littered with artifacts that date at least 3,000 years back. Some claim that the original culture of San Agustin goes as far back as 3000 BC, but those claims have not been proven. Another unproven claim is that the culture here was linked directly to the ancient Olmec people of Mexico, and that both of these cultures were influenced by visitors from another planet. Yikes, that spiraled quickly! Even though the civilization from San Agustin is so mysterious, they live on through thousands of pieces of their artwork. They left behind tombs, massive carvings of what appear to be gods and creatures, and curious domed structures made of rock that could have been used for religious ceremonies. There have even been idols found that are double the height of an ordinary human. And the craziest part is that nobody knows what the idols represent, where the San Agustin culture went, or why they vanished thousands of years ago and left behind so many relics. Number 5. The Indonesian Lost Temple a long-lost pyramid-like structure was recently found in Indonesia, and experts believe it could be the remains of an ancient temple that had been hidden beneath the soil, undisturbed for thousands and thousands of years. The hidden temple is located on top of Mount Padang in West Java, and it was found buried beneath yet another archaeological site that was discovered in the 1800s. The original site is nothing more than a few stone pillars sticking out of the ground. It wasn't until recently that a huge subterranean structure was found with help from Andang Bakhtiar, a geologist from Indonesia who led the drilling and soil analysis. Even though the structure appears to resemble a pyramid, it's probably closer to a unique temple. It hasn't actually been dug up yet, but researchers have managed to use X-ray tomography and 3D imaging to discover different layers of the temple, which appears to have been built over millennia, with new layers being built on top of old ones. It's currently estimated to be around 3,500 years old. As for what the temple was used for, researchers aren't really sure. What we do know is that the local people in the region still visit the top of the hill where the structure is buried for prayer and meditation, and this behavior could have been passed down over the past few thousand years, ever since the original temple was buried. Number 4. Colonial Maryland one of the first ever European settlements to be established in the United States was recently uncovered by some very excited archaeologists. Travis Parno had been searching for the legendary St. Mary's English settlement in Maryland for years, and he finally found it. By scanning the St. Mary's River using ground-penetrating radar, archaeologists and geophysicists were able to track down the outlines of ancient buildings 
that would have otherwise been impossible to find. They then confirmed that they'd stumbled upon the Palisade Fort that had been built in 1634, before the United States was even a country. The scans revealed post holes and evidence of dwellings, including some that could have been Native American. It wasn't until the excavations got underway that they finally turned up physical proof of the fort, finding a brick cellar, the remains of a guardhouse, some arrowheads, pieces of a musket, and so much more. Most of the relics were from the 1600s, but the arrowheads were actually dated back 4,500 years. Believe it or not, archaeologists have been searching for this place since the 1930s. It is currently the earliest colonial archaeological site in the entire state of Maryland. From above, all you can see is an empty meadow near the ocean. But underneath the surface, there is evidence of some of the first colonists to arrive in North America. There were 150 of them, most of them English Catholics who were fleeing persecution back home in England. They had arrived at this ancient site on two ships, named the Ark and the Dove, in March of 1634. Of course, the first ever English settlement was Jamestown in 1607, but St. Mary's was close behind. Number 3. The Polish Pyramids A group of massive tombs were recently discovered in Poland, and archaeologists have dubbed them the Polish Pyramids. That makes sense. At least a dozen of these huge tombs were discovered during a research project being carried out by professionals from the University of Szczecin. The ground structures discovered were built to resemble elongated triangles, like pyramids. The structures weren't that tall, only about 10 feet off the ground, but they were an outstanding 492 feet long. They have been buried by forest and brush, which made them very difficult for the archaeologists to study. So far, fragments of pottery have been discovered along with other miscellaneous artifacts. It's believed that the tombs were built sometime between the 5th and 3rd centuries BC by the Funnel Beaker culture. Those who are buried inside these tombs were likely elders of this ancient European tribe. Excavations are still ongoing, so there's probably a lot more yet to be found. There have, however, been experts claiming similarities between the mounds discovered in Poland and the ones found in other parts of England. Stonehenge and these Polish pyramids were also made around the same time, suggesting one of the cultures may have been influencing the other, and the ancient tribes in Europe may have had more contact than previously imagined. Number 2. The Summer Palace The Summer Palace is one of the most fascinating places in all of China. It's located near Beijing and is the best-preserved imperial garden anywhere on Earth, and is the largest of its kind still standing in China. The palace is 268 years old and is filled with gardens, temples, and ancient pavilions. The palace was originally designed to achieve harmony with nature. Of course, it was also made for the imperial family as a summer retreat from the stuffy walls of the Forbidden City. The Summer Palace was commissioned in 1750 by Emperor Chang Long of the Qing Dynasty. It was destroyed by the French in 1860 and rebuilt six years later. It was destroyed again in 1900 by the Allied forces of the Eight Powers, then rebuilt once more 12 years later. Its final rebuilding was one of the final acts made by the Qing Dynasty. What's really interesting about the Summer Palace is that it's one of those archaeological sites that has never been out of use. Ever since it was originally built, it has been occupied and used. It may have been destroyed twice, but it was rebuilt each time bigger and more impressive. It currently holds a small trove of artifacts brought together from all over China. Depending on who you ask, a visit to the Summer Palace is even more amazing than a trip to see the Great Wall. What do you think? Palace or wall? Which one would you want to visit? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1. Go Chang Dolmen Site The Go Chang Dolmen Site is a prehistoric cemetery located in Korea and one of Korea's most spectacular ancient wonders. There are dozens of tombs found throughout the site that were constructed starting in the 7th century BC. The tombs are significantly more primitive than those found in Europe and normally consist of one massive rock slab balanced on two smaller stones with a burial plot hidden underneath. These tombs were constructed by an ancient culture and are unlike any other Neolithic funerary monuments on Earth. At least 440 dolmens are located at the Gochang site. There have been jewels, stone tools, pottery pieces, and other artifacts excavated from around the dolmens. Unfortunately, not a lot is known about the Bronze Age cultures that lived on the Korean peninsula. 
These historical landmarks have only been investigated over the past few decades, and barely any human remains have been found. Until archaeologists do a lot more digging, we won't know how similar these ancient builders were with other cultures across the world from around the same time. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious archaeological sites would you want to visit? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back soon for another amazing video! See you later! Bye!